right. Hello, everyone. I'm Haley. I'm the student employment coordinator here um, at USM. Thank you to all the panelists for coming today. Um, so can everyone introduce themselves real quick? I'm Madison. Jacob. Kyle. Rebecca. All right. Awesome. And I will get started with my first question. Very simple question for you all. Um, but how did you find your job on campus? And I'll start with Rebecca. Um, I actually went to the career hub looking for some career advice and did a drop in session with one of the career advisors and had an incredible connection with her. And then Andy, director of the career hub, actually was a TA in one of my classes. And I sort of just approached him and said, hey, do you think maybe I could do an internship with the career hub? And he said they didn't currently have one, um, but he was willing to look into it. And you work with Nori and they created a position for me. Fantastic. And Kyle, how did you find your job on campus? I found my job through the um, job board, the USM job board. Um, I put in the criteria of the internship I was looking for and landed up on the one that sounded best for me. Awesome. And remind me where you work. I work at the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, which is in the Wish Camper building. So, and Jacob. Yeah, so I found my first internship um, through kind of a, a mutual connection, which led me to uh, other information on the Career Hub website. I think it was a job board. I found a couple of places. I you know, looked around, started applying, um, and I kind of found the right fit after a few interviews, um, like specifically all of which is I, I have the resources that that's online. Um, I think right now, I think the Career Hub has a lot of jobs where I think they cycle out every so often. It's like the job shadow program is a fairly new experience. So I just did that one. So just everything that's in the, the career hub resource. So I also looked through job board. I like to be prepared. So I looked through every job they had on there and started applying. And that's how I found my job. Awesome. So it sounds like a lot of job board and then some informal word of mouth. Awesome. Um, so my next question, um, how about we start with Madison and then go down. Um, what has been your favorite part of your experience working on campus? Just the people. I started my freshman year, which was during COVID. And so I just needed to get out of my room. So it was nice to have that space and environment where I could interact with people, meet new people, learn stuff. Um, so I think that was the biggest thing. So. Can I ask a follow-up question to that? Was it, um, how was it finding a job during COVID um, um, when it, it were all locked tough up? Because most of them were online and I wanted an in-person one. I wanted to just get out. And so it was a little difficult, um, but I made it work. Awesome. Thank you. Jake, uh, what was your favorite part or what has been your favorite part so far? Yeah, I think it's just more than a classroom experience. You get to go out and experience the real field, which is usually they don't tell you in the textbook. So, um, you know, getting out and, you know, using your hands, whether it's, um, you know, programming a software or talking to some director that's part of the uh, internship experience, all of that kind of goes hand in hand when you're applying, um, you know, after graduation, because you have that sort of experience built up. Um, so again, it's not like, it's something more than just, um, you know, homework or tests on assignment. Thank you. Kyle, what about you? What's been your favorite part? I would say definitely the connections that I made with the people within the program and also the experience that I gathered relating to my field of interest. Um, I made some great connections with people that were involved in the program, which led me to other career opportunities. And I also gathered some really great skills for um, the future and that are applicable to what I think I want to do in the future. So, and Rebecca. Uh, my favorite part was absolutely the team of people that I work with. They were incredible and we got to work, um, I got to work with other grad students and students to pilot a program for the Career Hub. And so we also got to work directly with um, students who needed help with resumes, and it was just such a really rich environment where I learned a lot about um, how to collectively work on a project and also a lot about group dynamics and how to support the students on campus. 
Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Um, so my next question for you all is, what was the most unexpected or surprising thing that you've learned from your experience working on campus? And we'll go, let's see, I'm going to tap Jacob to go first. Yeah, I think, you know, it's interesting. Um, you, you go into a, a, you know, your first internship and you think you're doing this one thing and, you know, that's what you've, you've thought prior. Um, that may be the case, but oftentimes you're wearing many hats. And so, you know, don't be afraid to try different things, even if it's not something in your scope. Um, and you may like it, you may not like it, but it's really that, it's really that trial and error that gets you to, uh, you know, what you find, you know, being your passion. And, you know, you just take the time to make those failures, make those mistakes and find what you like. And so when you come time for graduation, you know, like, okay, I'm definitely not doing this or I'm definitely doing this. So. So popcorn to Madison. Um, I definitely agree. There were a lot of things going into this that I did not understand. I didn't understand like different aspects of the job that I ended up learning. I loved it. There were different things that I was like, okay, this is not what I want to do. Um, so just kind of having a feel for, you know, what I want to do and what I don't want to do. <laughs> Trial and error. Yes. <laughs> and Kyle, what about you? I'd say the most surprising thing was that I went into the job thinking about what I could do to advance my skills technically, but I also found myself building really strong like friendships and connections with the people there. And I didn't realize how much of a benefit it would be to increase on the social aspect of the job. So I think the connection building really surprised me in a good way. It's really interesting because it seems like that theme has come up a lot as we've been talking, even with questions that you know, we're different than this one. It seems like the social aspect and the people that you meet is a really big part of your experience. So thank you. And Rebecca. I would just I could echo what everybody else said. Um, and for me, I think, you know, just a combination of what everybody said. I learned um, that I had more skills than I thought I had, or I could grow skills, or um, I learned how to help develop a training program, which I had never intended. Um, and it just, it gave me a lot of clarity about how I was going to move forward. So, yeah. Fantastic. Um, all right. Another question for you all. So did this experience or your experience in general working on campus change what you think you'll want to do after you graduate? And let's start with Rebecca. It really clarified it for me. Um, when I had that original conversation with the career advisor, I was asking her how she thought I should move forward, whether it was with a, a higher ed, get my higher ed uh, master's or counseling, and, and we really worked through it. And I thought I was set on pursuing higher education. And I did this internship and it really, it gave me a lot of clarity that I actually wanna do my master's in clinical mental health counseling because it was the interaction with the students and helping them at a pivotal point in their lives that was most meaningful to me. So it just kind of, made everything very clear for me. So I'm really thankful for the opportunity. Thank you. Kyle, how about you? Um, I would say instead of change what I thought I wanted to do, it actually solidified what I thought I wanted to do because it gave me hands-on experience in what I was interested in and really helped me build my skills and kind of reassure myself that, you know, the path that I was on was really the path that I wanted to be on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can see, you know, when you're learning something, it can be so different when you go to actually do it. So to have the opportunity to see if you really do like it is really important. Hmm. Thank you. And Jacob. Yeah, you know, going in, um, it wasn't a, a clear uh, sort of idea of exactly what I wanted to do uh, or study, um, but I, I think it really narrowed down. Kind of going back to the last point. Um, and pivoted towards the path that I want to pursue. So, for example, uh, I started you know, thinking ways to uh, incorporate myself with business and finance, but I found that, uh, you know, kind of being more of the engineer in the background and really building that sort of that sort of scope for others uh, is something I really enjoy doing. And if I hadn't gone through the, the working on a campus and working with uh, internships, I wouldn't have found that. So um, definitely a really good experience. Thank you. And Madison. Um, I think for me, I'm definitely like, this is what I want to do. Not necessarily 
what I'm doing right now, but I still want to be in that same environment. Um, just using different skills that I have, the job that I have right now is not exactly what I want to be doing, but now I know like, okay, maybe not this, but still in this area. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so a question for you all next about working in person versus remote touched on this a little bit, um, but what was it like to be in a professional setting in either or um, even coping with the sudden change of having to go remote or the you know balancing of hybrid Zoom versus in-person? Um, could you ask you all to speak to that a bit? I'll start with Rebecca. For me, I would say I really appreciated both aspects. And I think having to go back and forth, maybe just appreciate each one more, being able to stay home and really just not use my commuting time and just focus and get the work done was really valuable to me. But then being with the team in person was just that much better. So I think both of them, they enhanced each other. So, Kyle, how about you? I would like to build off of what she said and the fact that you know, having both in-person and Zoom aspects of the job really made me appreciate each and or more because I could see just how much each meant to some people, why some people chose to use um, platforms like Zoom or why people wanted to be in person more. And it really made me come to a more appreciative understanding of what benefits each of those had, um, what they could do for people. And um, it just made me realize how much of an asset either of those could be. Awesome. Thank you. Jacob, what's your yeah. yeah, so um, working in person was very interesting because uh, it, it might be a little more difficult because you have you'd have to, uh, you know, again, the commuting and the, and the actual, uh, you know, being there, um, you know, working on that task. But really, it's it's strengthened me as a as an intern because, you know, I made 10 times more mistakes because I had more opportunity to make mistakes. So I, I would, I would do so, uh, you know, but again, it, I think it really, I think the in-person aspect to the internships, it really helps you build on, on your, your work ethic, your character and your connections. You know, people trust a face-to-face -face rather than someone over a screen, I think a lot more. Um, and so I, I think that's really helped me in that aspect. Um, and it just allowed me to uh, really build on the projects that I'm working on now. Um, it's very hard to kind of communicate sometimes over Zoom. Um, it's one person you have that sort of, you can walk up to that person and say, hey, you know, I have a question on this, so. Thank you. And Madison. I agree. Um, just the flexibility, being able to work online versus in person. I personally enjoy the social aspect of being in person. It's easier to ask questions, kind of see what everyone else is doing. Um, but I do enjoy that flexibility. Awesome. Thank you all. Um, and how are we doing on time? I want to make sure I leave time for any questions. Five minutes. Okay, great. Yeah. I will ask one last question for you all. Um, have you had any challenges in your experience working on campus? And if so, what were they? And I'll start with Madison. I think for me, just the biggest challenge was just kind of finding what I want to do. I applied for many different jobs and it was just about kind of figuring out what I want to do. Um, but besides that, there were really no big challenges, just kind of learning. Jacob. Yeah, uh, I think there's many challenges. I, I think I think the challenge with, with working on a project you're unfamiliar with, I think that's one challenge. I think another challenge is, you know, not knowing who you're talking to. Um, so meeting new people in the organization um, or even on campus, you know, people you may not know. But I think the overall aspect of these challenges are, um, you know, being able to work through it. I think that's, you know, again, is, is what, uh, you know, gets you through a lot of these bigger projects. If you're working with a team, you know, whether it's 5, 10, 25 people or just by yourself, um, I think being able to have that sort of, uh, you know, I keep relating back to work ethic, but that, the sort of getting through the, the task at hand um, is important. And I think that, you know, when you say challenge, I think that, that, that comes to mind. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, I think, is, I don't know if that answers your question, but sort of the scope of the question yeah. is, yeah. So getting through challenges. Thank you. And Kyle? Um, I would say I was faced with everyday challenges that were just a part of the job. But the biggest thing I learned from it was 
how to have a clear mindset to be able to attack those challenges, um, knowing just to stay cool and calm and knowing how I can, you know, approach whatever challenges I'm faced on a day to day. So I'd say um, learning from the small everyday challenges really helped me um, get a good understanding of how to be kind of a go with the flow, um, apply my skills to be able to work with any challenge that I face. Thank you. And Rebecca? Uh, for me, the biggest challenge was transitioning into grad school and figuring out how to balance the position and my work and my school where I just all of it together. So for me, it was more of a logistical challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I love the project. I'm really passionate about it, but I'm also really passionate about pursuing my master's. So wearing many hats. Yep. <laughs> And I actually have one more question I'd like to ask, um, and we don't have to go down the line, just if anyone wants to shout out, um, what advice would you have for someone that's looking to work on campus? Rebecca, do it <laughs> and talk to the career hub. That's what I would recommend. Get some help with your resume, check in with the peer career guys. <laughs> that's what my advice would be. <laughs> Thank you. Any other advice? Yeah, uh, you know, again, I, I agree with the, the whole do it thing, you know, do it, but as, as soon as you can, right? Uh, you know, because you allow yourself that kind of cushion time for, uh, you know, sort of things that you want to do, um, because you'll run into things that you don't want to do. So, so kind of summing all together, what we talked about is, um, you know, don't be afraid to take that risk. Uh, even if it's something you may not know exactly, just just do it. Just hundred percent, just go, just do it. That find something you're interested in. I think was important to me. Anything, Kyle? I would say there's so many resources on campus for students to employ or to seek employment, and definitely the career hub as well as the job board has so many options that students can really um, kind of go through the criteria of what they want and find a position that works for them. So I would say they definitely have to take advantage of the resources that they have. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Do a little round of applause. And are there any questions or rather what questions are there in the audience? Anyone? When you finished one of your on-campus jobs, has there ever been like an exit survey or something that you filled out just to sort of share your experience to help improve that position for the next student or for the next semester? Yes, I said kind of like an open, okay. Yeah, yeah so exit surveys, I like that. Um, because there, I think, this is kind of a related question, Daniel and I. Uh, yeah, I think being able to, um, you know, get some sort of, whether it's with the Career Hub or I guess uh, some sort of press to to help um, really announce that sort of position. So I know a lot of students are interested in banking and finance uh, here at USM. So being able to um, you know, kind of promote that position and, 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 you know, kind of talk about like doing panels like this, talk about your experience. Um, so like exit survey, uh, can I like ask a question? Yeah, to so exit survey as in like something that you would fill out and, and kind of promote to other people or is it exit survey as in? So sort of summarizing your own experience in that work that you just, so like at the end of the fall semester, um, and what were some of the, those challenges or things that could improve the position for the next semester. So just sort of like getting a, a general sense for each person who's in that, in that work. Yeah, and I think monthly journals are a big part of that, that extra survey as well, um, because it kind of builds on until the, the final in the semester. Um, so I think, yeah, I think doing the monthly journals helps a lot. And so by the end, doing a presentation of what you've experienced is a, is a big like help for that exit survey. So hope that answers that question. Thank you. Anyone have something to add to that question? All right. Any other questions? Doesn't appear so. Well, thank you again, everybody, so much.